come to Pepper Pepper Media. We have um, a fantastic football agent who has been helping a lot of uh, African players, especially Ghanaian players. And uh, uh, he's an um, agent for one of Ghana's topmost youth talent player, that is Frank Boatin. Welcome to Pipa Pipa Media. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm fine. We are working hard mm -hmm. with Frank uh, Boateng of his fitness because okay. I think this is very important, uh, the fitness to have a chance to play in European uh, in the highest level football. Okay. How did you meet him? I met him in uh, Takwa. Okay. I was in Takwa by my business uh, friend uh, Mosbaka, Moses. Okay. And uh, I'm every time interested in football because I play since uh, 50 years football. Mm. And uh, every time when I have time in Ghana, I look uh, football. And yeah, I saw him in the training and I saw he's a very great football player. And I was interested of him. And I was very interested when I see the game that he was not playing in the game. The coach don't give him a chance to uh, play. And I don't understand. He was uh, in the training every time the best player, very intelligent player. But the coach, I don't know, he don't like him or he don't is uh, going in his system what he play. And uh, yes, uh, then I saw the, the system from the coach was very bad. He play only long half, uh, long balls. Uh, kick and rush and uh, yeah, you uh, I don't know you you know we, we I changed it I was talking with Moses to kick the coach out and he do this then really and uh, we get uh, champion uh, 2000, 2023 2024 and uh, yes I was very happy but uh, Frank uh, don't get a uh, lot chances and then I was thinking I bring him to Europe to help him and yes and he make I think a good good way and you have a good chance the season that is just passing by, we saw him playing in the uh, Mortal League. Yes. Now he's here in Germany. Uh, should we Ghanaians expect something big from you for Frank? Because we want to see him develop to the highest level and possibly uh, we want to see him in the Black Stars. And for him to be in the Black Stars, he must really develop war yes. uh, so that he will help Ghana and even Africa. Should we expect something big? from you for Frank? Uh, Frank uh, need uh, as for sure the, the fitness but he we are working on it and he's uh, really fit um, but uh, I, he have some small problems but I was talking with him about his uh, small problems and uh, when he changed this uh, I see a, a great player in the future in Europe uh, I don't know it's in Germany or maybe it's uh, later in, in UK or another country but he, he go his way, I'm, I'm sure. As an agent, you've been to Ghana before, you've seen a lot of great talents. What do you think um, is the problem with the Ghanaian or African players who are not really developing work, getting uh, good teams to play at their tender age as compared to the Europeans? There uh, is more points. The first point is talent is not all. You have very, very well uh, talents in Ghana, but uh, when they come to Europe, they g start to get a bad attitude. They are not working on his self. They are not working on his body. They are not care of uh, um, uh, his body, either what he is eating, mm -hmm. no vegetable. He's not, uh, and also the, the agencies. The agencies bring them in, in football clubs where they don't play where, for example, uh, is a bad coach, uh, they can't develop young boys. Uh, the young boys sit only on the bench because they can't develop them, they can't teach them very well. Mm -hmm. Also, you have to look that you have really good player. They get minimum times to play football. You have to put it normally in the contract that they have minimum times to play. Um, and the most agencies are looking only of money. Mm -hmm. uh, they bring the players to a football club, they pay the most money, mm -hmm. but uh, the coach is not good. Mm -hmm. He don't get his time to play football. Mm -hmm. And then you destroy the career from the player. He lost one year, maybe sometimes two years. Uh, and then later he's too old for a big club. You've been to Ghana several times. How do you see the future of Ghana football and then the Ghanaian young talents? 
Uh, when and the, the government start very well to uh, build a lot of uh, astroturf pitches mm -hmm. so that the boys in Ghana can start to play fast football. Okay. The difference between African football and German or European football is that we have better pitches and can play faster the ball. We play more one touch mm -hmm. and the, this reason our game is faster than a game okay. in the Premier League of the bad pitches, they have to control the ball, they run too much with the ball, they don't play fast football, and this is different. And when they come to Europe, they this is, is much, much too fast for them. And you have good talents, they learn it fast, they need three months, six months to understand how to play fast football, but sometimes it's this too late for a football club, they don't wait and send them back to Ghana. So uh, we have to teach them in Ghana very well. We have to need more good pitches, we need good coaches in Ghana to teach them good tactic football. The talent, I'm sure the Ghana boys are more talentful than the German boys, for example. But when they are going to 14, 15, our German boys grow up because then they start to play tactic football, fast football. Mm -hmm. And the Ghana boys stay of one level because we don't have good tactic uh, uh, coaches in Ghana. And this is the reason then later the European football is better than the African football. And when the African football teach them when they are 14, 15, latest 16, tactic football, the African football get better. Per what you've said, if all these things are corrected in Africa, do you foresee an African team or country winning the World Cup anytime soon? Uh, not soon, but yes, I'm, I'm sure when we start to um, teach them very well and also to in Ghana for the national team, for example, when I see the talents what we have and when I see your team, what you have and who play there, then make this no sense is corrupt. Yeah, because people pay money and then the, the player play because of the money and not because he's better. Mm. And uh, you have so many good players mm -hmm. in Ghana, they earn it to play for the national team. Mm. And uh, when, for example, I see the, the best boys there and they play together, I think they came also in the semi-final in the World Cup uh, 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 tournament. Finally, my last question to you. Um, in some few or next month, we are going to witness the whole Europe here in Germany. That is the Euro 2024. As a German, are you tipping the German national team to win the ultimates? Uh, I wish yes, but I don't believe. I think we come in the semi-final and uh, maybe in the final uh, because of uh, the home tournament here. But I see other clubs, other countries, uh, they play right now better football uh, than the Germans. So which nation are you tipping? I, I think France have, have a good chance, Spain have a good chance, uh, UK I see also is a very good team um, and never forget the Croatia. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Your name? Christian Kudura. Or you need my Ghana name. What is your Ghana name? Nana Okatakshi Amuave Second. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> thank you for speaking to Pepa Pepa Media. Thank you very much.